All right guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick tour really fast of our new camper. So when Tyler and I bought this, it was uh, halfway done. Someone had already picked up the project, but we decided we wanted to completely strip it, um, redo it and make it ours. So without further ado, friends, welcome to our camper. So yeah, guys, this is uh, this is our new camper. We've uh, had it for about four months, bought it about four months ago, and we've been working on it ever since. Let me go ahead and show you guys around. So one of the challenges Tyler and I were working with is the fact that we have 200 pound dogs. Um, there, there's gonna be two of us in this camper, and this camper is about 40 square feet. It's a 13 foot scamp trailer, so it's about as small as they get. Uh, but we wanted to be able to have enough storage to be, uh, to be able to take you know a one or two month trip but when we first bought the camper we were designing we were trying to figure out how do we want to lay this thing out where we have this sofa right right here originally what it was was it was a seat a seat and then a table that's how scamps are normally built but Tyler and I decided we wanted to go ahead and make it a little bit more open because when we're just relaxing in the camper we don't really want to sit at a table we will we want to be able to lounge on a nice little couch area and plus it allows the dogs a little bit more space right here to, to lay down um, usually Fitz lays right there and that's uh, that's kind of his spot but this being such a small space like I said we wanted to make sure we had a lot of storage so under all of this right here we've placed storage and just like that we have access to storage down here down it actually pulls out it's a little bit wonky but it pulls out and then we lay this cushion down and we have our bed so you want to push this back in it's a little janky so sometimes it's hard to work I'll show you how we made. Need to finish painting this, but it's pretty much almost done. And below here, we have quite a bit of storage as well. I'm going to show you this, guys. We have another little thing of storage right under here as well. This is where we keep all our bedding. After uh, you know, after we wake up, we just put all the bedding in here. Also, Tyler and I wanted to make sure we had a bathroom in the camper because we didn't know where we'd end up. We might have to use the restroom somewhere that we couldn't find one. <clears throat> we also put in a closet so that we could keep all our clothes and you know, just anything we might need stored. So this right here is our closet. We have lots of storage in here. This is a little pull-out container. We keep our towels right here. You can see where you can see where this uh, pulls up, and we have all kinds of storage right underneath. And um, other than that, we have lots of goodies in these little cans right here. We made sure to include little shelves as well. On this side, we have a little shelf for books right here. Now we just went ahead and put a curtain here because we just wanted to be able to hide all our wires that are just sticking out right there. We didn't want them touching anything and we didn't frankly want to have to see them. So we just put a curtain there. All our electrical is stashed right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out real fast so I can show you. All right. So now that I've pulled these out, I can go ahead this is our inverter. We have all the cords leading to the battery, which we actually have sitting on the front of the trailer. Real fast, just to show you where we put our battery. Our battery. Right in here is where we keep our battery. We just wired all our cords from the inside. We have them come straight out through this pipe. And we have them connected to the leads. Tyler and I thought it would be a really good idea to save space to just buy a little uh, buy a little container and put it outside the camper. As well, all our cabinets are held by magnets. Right now, there's just uh, some random things in here because we haven't needed to put the cooler in here at all. But normally, this is going to be holding our Arctic cooler. So we decided to opt out of a fridge and instead just buy a cooler because the fridge would take a lot of power. When so right here, it just pops open. 
And then, and then you will find all our plumbing. We have a fresh water tank. This is five gallons as well as a two and a half gallon gray water tank right behind. We have our little water pump sitting back here. It's a tight squeeze. All we have to do is turn this button on, flip this, and we have running water. As well, we have our towels hanging here on a rack with soap and dish soap, just so we have easy access to them. And did two switches right here so you can see how it's flipping the light switch. And we also have bathroom lights in here as well. <clears throat> Go ahead and flip this off. Tyler and I also have this light over here and I think this is one that we use the most. This is the one that we prefer. We also have this fan, press on and it goes. It is incredibly helpful, keeps us very cool. I went ahead and built this frame for it. It's not super pretty, but you know, it's the best I can do. But that's pretty much it for the inside. We wanted to include lots of storage, so we did. Closet, bathroom, lights, wonderful. Top, we included three solar panels. three solar panels these are all 120 volt we bought them through Renogy and we bought a kit so it came with everything we would need to set up the solar um, it works wonderfully our battery is almost always at 100% except for the evening when there is no sunlight um, yeah three panels might have been overkill but we like having lots of energy on the road because you never know when you're gonna have a cloudy day But if you guys enjoyed the videos, please like and subscribe, share with your friends. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I, uh, I hope you have a fantastic day.